Hello and welcome to another edition of Entertainment News with me, Michael Bates, also known as Pygmy Warrior. Some of you might be thinking, that's an unusual name. What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> but it turned out this week that international film star Claire Foy likes it, so hey. Oh, hi Pygmy Warrior. <laughs> Where are you living in the world? <laughs> this week saw the release of The Female Gaze by Alicia Malone, a discussion of essential movies made by women. It's a follow-up to Backwards and Heels, which inspired my Women in Film postcard collection that you might have seen on Twitter. These three pieces of work illustrate the massive contribution of women in cinema since its inception, in the hope that it'll improve equality in the future. While we're on the subject of female filmmakers, I really want to talk about a film I saw recently called Make Me Up. It was originally intended to be one of my early reviewed by a regular dude segments, but there was so much going on that I really had to talk about it in more depth. If you're curious, you can watch the trailer. I'll link it below. I'm not sure how many of you will get to see this film. The synopsis sounded very much like the episode of Black Mirror, where you have a female consciousness trapped inside a Siri Alexa type object and someone giving orders from the outside particularly because the main characters in this are named after the Siri, Alexa and other devices of the same type. I was actually imagining something of a, like a feminist matrix, uh, an entire world created within the device, and then the voice of God, this male antagonistic voice coming from the outside, commanding the world around the characters. Um, but that wasn't what I ended up getting. The control actually starts out with a physical representation of the voice, if it's a female character with the male voice. Um, and the control is very much a mechanical control. It's, you know, they actually, she controls the physical bodies of the characters within the space. But then it very quickly goes into them being controlled through coercion with um, a device to choke them and silence them. I preferred that to the physical control. I thought it was going to lean into this idea of suppressing women's voices. And in particular, choking has become a very troubling trend among sexual imagery around women and situations of domestic abuse and in film and television. It, it's a worrying trend of the past few years. And I thought it was going to sort of play on that and use that as a mechanism um, within the story. And I suppose it does to, to an extent. The next thing that we're introduced to are these artistic representations where the female characters are all competing against one another to represent a sort of classic piece of art. And I actually really enjoyed this section. I like the different representations that each piece of art came to embody, like different sort of forms of oppression and representation of women um, and the way that that played into their interaction with each other and with the outside world and the whole like likes and dislikes element coming in which sort of expressing the sort of troubling trends on the internet and the way we sort of view instagram and twitter and facebook and things like that um, i thought that was a good dynamic to create um if they're in this device and they're interacting with the outside world um, but shortly after that they introduce this kind of soylent green subplot i mean soylent green is a great movie but it takes the entire film to sort of create this world and explain what's going on and break it down. Um, whereas this is very much a, a subplot in a film with many, many subplots. It was an interesting idea, but it just felt lost in the shuffle with everything else that was going on. And then we discover this isn't even a digital world, that this is a real world place. And these are still sort of human characters that are being controlled and interactive with this way, which doesn't really play well with everything that's going on before that. The imagery was wild and expressive and it reminded me somewhat of um, the sort of thing you see in Japan of the kind of doll girl creation style. But for all it was like pretty out there, it was never out there quite enough to be surrealist. And I think surrealist was what it was aiming for. And that was maybe something I would like to have seen pushed the boundaries of that as well. Um, and overall, you get like a horror section, which, you know, would have, I think, worked really well if the film had descended into a pure horror towards the end and been like this weird, surreal, like totally out there horror film. But the horror section is, it isn't extreme enough, much in the way that the kind of oppression dynamic wasn't taken to an extreme. It was always teased and sort of worked around and transitioning from one thing to the next. The horror elements seem to do that as well. 
I mean, it was clear that this film was intended to be feminist, and it certainly has some strong feminist ideas. Um, it looks at aspects of the body, you know, women's relationship with food. It looks how like art is used in society to create an image of women that's like unrealistic and sort of contorted. Um, it looks at society's interaction with women in general, at clothes, makeup, you know, things that are considered sexy but are ultimately used as tools for control. But it it's again it dipped into all of these things but it never quite got to grips with any one of them it didn't it sort of lacked focus for me it's not a film i could really recommend to people but it's certainly one that you know i'd love to talk about and particularly talk about with women and strongly feminist women because as i say it had a lot that it was trying to say and it just it was frustrating that it never quite got to grips with any one particular part um, i mean I, I i can understand want to create something that deals with all aspects of such an issue but it's such a broad ranging issue it just it just seems like too much to bite off to try and tackle them all in one movie at the same time so if anybody out there has seen this film um i hope you'll let me know in the comments what you thought and give me your thoughts on it and if you haven't seen it you know i'd love for somebody to go out and see it even though i can't recommend it just so i can talk to somebody about it or you know get other opinions it's one of the strangest films I've seen in a long time. I mean, it was very bold. Um, it had a lot to say. But, you know, as it says, it's a female director. It's a load of female actors. And um, I'd love to see what they kind of do next. <laughs> <laughs>